Continuing coverage of a breaking story that we have been following since about 5 o'clock. This was a bank robbery attempt which turned into a hostage situation. The scene, Claiborne and Santa Fe in Olathe. It is a Bank of America branch, as we say, a bank robbery attempt that turned into a hostage situation. We want to bring you the very latest right now as police SWAT teams continue to surround that bank. KNBC 9's Michael Mahoney is live at a police command post that has been set up near the scene. Mike, what's the latest? It looks like they're making some progress here. Just within the last few minutes, Chris, one hostage has walked out of the uh, Bank America where this took place at about 5 o'clock today, walked out under their own power, and is now being briefed and uh, questioned by police investigators and perhaps a second uh, uh, hostage stage left and then returned to the bank uh, and apparently returned to the bank under her own uh, her own power her own volition here so one hostage as we understand it here from the what we're picking up on the scanners has left the building they believe there are four to six hostages and another left the building and then returned voluntarily to sort of sum up what happened here shortly after five o'clock two female robbers uh, walked into this Bank of America on basically 35 in Santa Fe and uh, held it up and in the process uh, the police got there before they were able to get away and they seized several hostages you're looking at tape that was shot a little bit earlier of uh, one individual. We believe it's one of the suspects, but we're not sure, who came out and uh, checked around and then uh, went back inside. And just a few moments ago, as we indicated to you, one hostage walked out of the building and is now into being briefed by uh, and questioned by the police. And perhaps a second hostage walked out and then returned to the bank. This would be uh, another, strange uh, a stra another strange incident a little earlier this evening. One of the hostages, about 5, 20, 25, uh, walked outside, went over to the suspect's car, either dropped something off or picked something else up and walked back in. So it's been a very, very strange uh, situation here. Nonetheless, the latest is one hostage has been released and is now uh, talking to the police. Another one apparently walked out and then walked back into the bank. And so it's a developing situation here. And when we learn more, you're going to learn more. Chris? Michael, stay with us there for just a sure. second. The, the videotape that we just saw earlier, we're, we're not sort exactly... It. Yeah, we're not exactly sure at this point whether that was one of two female suspects or it is a hostage. Now I'm being told in my ear that apparently it was not one of the suspects, that perhaps it was a hostage. Information in a situation like this is always difficult to get, and you're watching us cover this story as, as, uh, as events unfold. We are being kept a good distance away, certainly, from the scene. We were asked by Olathe police uh, a couple of hours ago to turn our live cameras away uh, from the, the front doors of the Bank of America branch, certainly with uh, the safety of the people inside and the police officers on the scene in mind. Mike, just real quick, uh, any word on how hostage negotiators are faring? Um, at the beginning, uh, what we were told here is that they tried to establish contact and uh, a couple of times were hung up on uh, last half hour or so. Uh, the indication we're getting is there has been some communication. And obviously, one of the things you do in a situation like this is you try to start a dialogue. You try to get a conversation going find out what the people want on the inside, what their demands are, what their needs are, and try to uh, strike up a relationship and a conversation so that you can uh, you, you can make some progress. And that, I think, is what's been happening probably over the last hour or so, and that's pure speculation on my part. What we do know is that one hostage has left the building, another one left and then returned. Well, that's what we believe, anyway. All right, Michael Mahoney there at a uh, command post near the scene. Thank you very much. Again, to bring you up to date, Bank of America, Santa Fe, and Claiborne in Olathe, where for about uh, the last four hours, it's been a hostage situation. According to the FBI, two female suspects inside, at least one of them armed, four to six hostages as well. At least that's the way it was in the beginning. But as you heard Michael report just a short time ago, apparently one hostage has left the building. So that is very good news. Uh, this is a story we continue to follow, and we'll have much more on this breaking story in a special edition of KNBC 9 News coming up at 10 o'clock tonight. But for now... Chris Katz live in the KNBC 9 newsroom. Back to ABC 2000. Back live in the KNBC 9 newsroom, Chris Ketz with you. We are still monitoring a breaking news situation in the early moments of this new year. It was an attempted bank robbery that turned into a hostage situation in Olathe. It's a Bank of America branch, Santa Fe, and Claiborne. Now, I have had a chance to talk on the telephone with the suspect and two of the hostages inside over the last couple of hours. The suspect says she wants to talk face-to-face -to, -face to a man named Sean. Any one of these people here, you can ask them. I have not pointed the gun at them for since the beginning. 
When I first walked in, that's it. In order for the three of us to be released, she wants to see him face to face. And, uh, you know, that's her, her only stipulation. She gives back the gun, and it's over. Again, to clarify, the first voice you heard, the voice of the woman, is, uh, is the bank robbery suspect. The second individual, the man, is a bank employee. Now, let's go to KNBC 9's Michael Mahoney, who is at a police command post not far from the scene in Olathe with the latest out there. Mike. All right, Chris, just re briefly to recap, the uh, police and the FBI say that there is one bank robbery suspect, a female of Asian descent, perhaps in her 20s, uh, with a gun, probably a handgun, holding now just two hostages, a man and a woman. As to the $64,000 question at this hour, whether or not this individual, Sean, has been brought here and whether or not they have talked, the, uh, the officials here will not say and uh, d perhaps don't know whether or not that is, uh, that's taken place. That's something that's being handled by the negotiators that are in contact. If you happen to hear any sharp noises behind us here, it's going to be fireworks and not gunshots. Uh, because we're just after midnight, obviously. That is the, uh, that's the latest. The question is whether or not the negotiators have presented this uh, individual named Sean to the bank robbery suspect here and whether or not the, any, any of the uh, demands or that satisfies uh, what, uh, what she's looking for at this hour. We don't know. All we know is that it uh, started off four to six hostages. It's now down to two. Some people that were in the building that were not aware, that the suspect was not aware of, were able to escape. We've uh, got videotape, as you've seen through most of this night, of uh, one a hostage leaving and then two other people who are able to, uh, I guess, sneak out would be the best way. Nobody has been hurt at this point, and this standoff continues just a few minutes here into the year 2000. Back to you. We know that earlier in the evening, the uh, bank robbery suspect was able to talk to Sean on the telephone, but uh, in the last conversation that we had with a bank employee, apparently she still wants some sort of a face-to-face -face meeting. Could it be that police are reluctant to produce Sean in a face-to-face -face situation, fearing for his safety as well? You know, that's, that's so much speculation, Ketzer, I even hesitate to, even, to, to go into that area. It's, it's, may, maybe it's happened, maybe it, uh, maybe it has, and uh, we're just not being informed about it. And as uh, the folks here uh, were indicating, this, that's a call of the negotiators. The negotiators are trying to pr uh, work unilaterally with the, with the bank robbery suspect in there, so I, I really can't answer that. All right, KNBC 9's Michael Mahoney at a police command post. We may be coming back to you later. Thanks for standing All by. Right. All right, KNBC 9's Peggy Bright, closest to the scene, closer to the bank, Peggy, what's up there? Well, Chris, as you know, this started around 5 o'clock when police started gathering around the area and eventually shut off Santa Fe right here at I-35 and then started surrounding this bank as the hostage situation became clearer and clearer to the people out here trying to negotiate the release of all the people inside. We want to zoom in right now and show you a little bit of what we're seeing, which is not a lot of activity at this point. Police are still all surrounding this building, but ironically, there are all kinds of fireworks going off around the building, uh, near the building. We're hearing some police sirens in the background, and apparently none of that is related to what is going on at the bank at this hour. As Michael had said, there have been several people that we have seen leaving this building, all of them seemingly leaving between the hour of 9 o'clock and about 10:15. Oh, we saw one woman come out first, then two people together, and then a man backing out into the uh, arms, really, of the police who were standing by on the dark side of the building. So we do know of four people that we did see coming out, and as Michael said, two more people still inside and the suspect in there as well. Everyone hoping for a quick resolution, but so far it's seven hours long and no sign of that yet. Chris, back to you. All right, KNBC 9's Peggy Bright, thank you very much for your work tonight, and certainly to Michael Mahoney. Again, to uh, reset the situation for you, one armed suspect, a woman, two hostages inside, one man and one woman. And uh, again, police and FBI agents uh, trying to bring this thing to a peaceful conclusion. Well, we are 17 minutes, 29 seconds into the new year, uh, new year that is. And think now to update our top story, that hostage situation inside a bank, uh, the Bank of America branch, Claiborne and Santa Fe in Olathe. KNBC 9's Peggy Bright near the scene tonight. Peggy. Well, Chris, the situation is now about seven and a half hours old, and there is still a suspect inside the building, reportedly armed, with two hostages. We know of at least four other hostages who have been able to get out of the building. We saw them leaving on videotape a little bit earlier tonight. That started around 9 o'clock. But as the new year rang in tonight, the hostage situation continued with one suspect inside and two hostages as well. Meanwhile, police are still here, still blocking off Santa Fe all the way across I-35, which is 
right here to my left, and they are still surrounding the building. They are all armed and have their guns drawn and are watching the building as the situation goes on. Back to you, Chris. All right, KNBC 9's Peggy Bright there in Olathe. Thank you very much, Peggy. And, of course, it's a story we will continue to follow throughout the evening here on KNBC 9 News. So stay with us for live updates.